What's going on guys? Dubois Maximum RPM coming at you with another video today. And in this video we have a bay taking a run at the list. We haven't had one of these in a while and I figure why not give a new guy a shot at the list. And no, it's not a brand new bay. However, it is one of my more recent creations and I don't believe it's made a run at the list just yet. So before we introduce the Greenhorn, let's introduce the current number six on the list of the Gatekeeper. Steel a sim, zero bearing, a left spin stamina type. And the challenger is a right spin smash type, aka an attack type that's even stronger than the average attack type. Rotary Sting Zephyr. Rotary is based off of the Wankel Rotary engine found in the Mazda RX-7 and RX-8. And even in some Datsun pickups. So let's see how Rotary does. First to seven wins, bursts are two points, everything else is worth one. Let's get right into it. And the first point goes to Rotary. Rotary's biggest downfall is his stamina. He has incredible attack power, but next to no stamina. A sim is the exact opposite. Oh, a sim's back in it. Can he spin steel? No, Rotary wants that spot. Two to zero. So, due to the power of Rotary, he's pushing a sim around pretty easily. And a sim is very easy to burst. So he's got to be careful. That's four to zero. Rotary has the perfect movement to counter a sim. My bearing is a fairly worn down driver, is relatively old, which means it is mushroomed out and the bearing is rather loose in it, which means uh, a sim has good movement. However, Rotary matches it perfectly. Something broken? Nothing that I can see. Is the driver broken? The driver's fine. All right. Mm, must have been a fluke. Everything fits together fine. Still four to zero. A sim will not back down. Four to one. I see what a sim was doing. How dare you? Thank you, Rotary. Five to one. I know, like, Mako and Dark Artemis and Jake and Ren, all those guys are like, oh, now we can't make the joke. Well, the joke was on you. That was a huge hit. Six to one. Rotary actually took some damage there. A sim is pretty tough. Not the weakest bay in the world. And just like that, Rotary is now the new number six member. Give it another month or two and a sim will probably be the number six member again. That's just kind of how he works. Seeing as how we have plenty of time, I say we move on to the next member of the list. The number five member, which is Line Lock V8 Wheel Octa. A very powerful bay. Same rules apply. Really, V8? 
So V8s were typically American engines. Granted, there are plenty of Japanese V8s out there. However, the rotary was pretty much exclusively a Japanese engine. However, Mercedes did make a diesel version of it. So we got America versus Japan. Ow! That was stupid. Why did I try that? Apparently... So rotary engines are known for high revving. So apparently high RPM is beating torque for once. These are going to be cousins in the skits. If you guys catch them. Two to zero. That scared the crap out of me. I can't believe V8's actually losing. There's V8's power, and you're a dunce. 3 to 0. It's right about to say V8 is going to flex that American muscle and put rotary in its place, and then he just totally misses. Also, guys, I did order a surprise, and it will be here relatively soon. Also, I'm waiting on a couple parts for my 3D printer. And we can get back to creating 4 to 0. Just waiting on a couple of parts, and then I can uh, tune it. And we'll get back to work because I've got a couple of days ready. I have to count that. Five to zero. Really? One little tap? The famous issue with my engine Beyblades. They all hate the launchers. V6 likes falling off. Rotary and V8 love to stick. That's the wrong launcher. Still 4 to 0. No, 5 to 0. Sorry. Don't do it, V8. Don't you dare. Hit him. Thank you. Five to one. Finally, V8 is fighting back. I know V8 can beat Rotary. I just don't know why he's choosing to lay down and roll over. Bad launch, yet a tie. Both bays had been on the ground firmly, so I have to count that. That is six to one. I can't believe how well Rotary's doing. I'm not going to count that one. six member I doubt we'll have time for it uh, we got a little this is where it starts getting really funny we now have Iron Brutus Outer Orbit believe it or not he is the number four member oh no this is Brutus's biggest weakness, is a bay that's good at getting knockouts. Because that's what Brutus is weak to, is knockouts. Attaboy, Brutus. I had to go and open my mouth. Brutus can take hits with the best of them. Still taking damage, though. 
two to zero. Yeah, that's Jackal's thing, Rotary. <laughs> Ow. Three D splinters might even hurt more than metal splinters. What's the score? Three to zero? No. Still two to zero. Rotary! We're running low on time. Don't start doing this crap. Brutus is all cut and mangled on the bottom half. You've got to be kidding me. Why all of a sudden, now that we're running low on time? God, three to zero. Now this is the definition of a red line rampage. Four to zero. Brutus has never lost this bad to any bay except for maybe Shatter. Don't you start with me, Brutus. Don't you even think about starting this crap with me. Still only one bay to ever burst, Brutus. Let's make a smite. I believe that is five to one. Six to one. Could be the final round. Come on. <laughs> Rotary is the number four. All right, guys, to see the rest of this, you'll have to come back next episode where Rotary will be taking on Thorn Rose. All right, guys, that's about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications so you get all my videos because I upload daily. And as always, hope this video makes your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max and stay awesome.